Okay, Joe Lane, video log, 1st of November, 2040. Nice autumnal day out there, and I'm just about to leave for work. <laughs> it's not often I go to work, because usually I use the virtual office cubicle in our apartment block. It's like being at work, only without the travel. And in fact, it's better because you can always get a meeting room. Today is going to be busy and interesting. In fact, it might be busily interesting or interestingly busy. <laughs> because today, the team that I'm assigned to are going to dig a hole, a big one. One that you can climb into. <laughs> we used to dig them all the time, thousands of them every year. Uh, looking for leaks, repairing, replacing pipes, and fitting meters. We haven't dug a hole for years. Well, must be 15 years. This might be the last chance I get to see something like this. Well, since finances have become a bit easier, I can retire. I'll be 70 soon. The team that I'm assigned to usually fly the um, investigation and repair robots. But the ones that need manual intervention, that is. A lot of them look after themselves. Some of the youngsters don't even think of it as work. They think of it as a game with those virtual reality goggles. Mm. Uh, I don't fly robots. And I, I definitely won't be digging any holes. I used to be a plain old stress counsellor, but now I'm an emotional intelligence support advisor. Every department has a dedicated ESA, and it seems to work. The levels of stress and mental illness in the company are less than a third of the national average. But people still seem to struggle, so I'm always busy. There's been a lot of hype and media attention about this. Ugh. I'll explain later. So people still seem to be more stressed than usual. Okay, so we're digging a new hole today because we're connecting a new water resource into one of our water treatment works, which supplies over 100,000 customers. Only this water comes from the new fusion reactor, which supplies power to most of those homes and businesses. Most of the people I know and the company itself generate their own energy. So I suppose that this is for local industry. Anyway. Um, so, uh, there's the hole and a couple of other appointments in the diary. I'm meeting one of the girls from Customer Interface. She's asked for a one-to-one, -one, so I've booked a hot speciality pod. It's a meeting space, like the virtual office cubicle in my apartment building. So, I'll be staying out in the field, as they say. I know I shouldn't second guess, but I think she's struggling with the change of roles since more of her job's been taken over by computers. A few people are finding it difficult to come to terms with this. There's nothing like the human touch, and that's what I'm all about. Most of our customers don't contact us, but when they do, they want to speak to someone who understands them, someone who can relate to them. So sometimes I help out our older customers. I spoke to a lady the other day. 
who just celebrated her 110th birthday. She wanted to sign up to our super centenarians tariff. And she was getting upset because Sally, one of our new customer service avatars, couldn't understand what she wanted. I sorted her out and she called me a helpful girl. <laughs> Sweet. Mm. Oh, well, I'd better get going. There are people to see, holes to be dug. <laughs>